Hi there. My name is Dr. Yonit Arthur, and we're here today to help you work on rewiring your brain. So whether you're feeling wobbly or you're in pain, we're going to be taking steps today to change the neural circuits that are causing your symptoms. I know it's exciting stuff, but it's also not easy. And that's why I'm going to be here with you the entire time to remind you why you're doing this and that you're going to be okay. For this exercise, you're going to pick one activity that normally makes you not feel so great, and we're going to do it together. Examples of this may include going to the grocery store, driving or being a passenger in a car, going for a walk outside, working out, going to the gym, doing yoga, sitting at your desk at work, or even being in a place or position that normally makes you feel worse. I'd like you to listen to this when you're about to be in the situation or position that you'd like to work on. You might be listening to this in a car or another public place. So make sure that it is safe for you to take a moment to go inside your body and get in touch with yourself first. Let's take a few breaths together to start. First, just breathe in normally through your nose if you can, and exhale, creating some wind noise in your throat so your breath leaves your body slowly to the count of six or eight if you can. Take these breaths at your own pace right now. Imagine the air traveling down into a big bowl that is sitting at the bottom of your belly when you inhale. Fill up all sides of that bowl equally. And when you exhale, you can hum or just close your throat slightly so your exhale is prolonged, counting slowly to six or eight if you can. Let's take a few breaths together now. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Okay, now let's prepare for the activity. And you can listen while you continue breathing in this pattern if it's comfortable, or you can just allow your breathing to fall into its natural rhythm. I'm here today to remind you that the reason you have symptoms in this situation is your brain is making a simple mistake. It's just not doing a great job of interpreting your senses. That can lead to the sensations you've had in the past when doing this activity. I know that has been terrifying, but I'm here to remind you that, despite how it felt last time, there is nothing wrong with your body or your brain. The sensations and sense of danger are simply a false alarm in your nervous system. This activity is exactly the medicine you need to stop your symptoms. Now notice, as you're listening to my voice and hearing me tell you that your brain is making a simple, not dangerous mistake, We're going to prepare you to do that activity that you're planning. As you imagine that, I'd like you to draw your attention to your body. I'd like you to notice any worried thoughts 
and see if you can ask them to step back just for a little while so you can notice your body. I know that in the past, your body has not always been the most comfortable place for you to be. But see if you can go into your body right now and notice any tension, heaviness, a sense of worry or alarm, fluttering, buzzing, rushing, tingling, or anything else that lets you know that your nervous system is geared up and preparing for danger. If you can find that sensation, see if you can put your hand where you feel it. This is your nervous system's fight or flight response preparing you for danger. And if you can't find that sensation, that's okay. You can just put your hand on your heart. Now, I want you to listen closely. There is nothing wrong with your nervous system. Your nervous system is doing exactly what it was designed to do. It was designed to stop you from doing dangerous things. The only problem is that your nervous system is making a mistake about what's dangerous. Today, we're going to take your nervous system by the hand and be with it in a new way to help teach it that this situation is not dangerous and that it's really okay and safe for you to do this activity. Take a moment right now to connect to the sensation you found in your body if you were able to. If you would like, you can also give your scared nervous system a name. And when I say nervous system later in this recording, you can replace it with the name you picked. And if you weren't able to connect to the fear or sense of alarm or worry in your body, that's okay. Just put your hand back on your heart, and I want you to repeat after me. There is nothing wrong with me. My brain and body are not broken. My brain and body are healthy and well. My nervous system is just doing what it was designed to do. There is nothing wrong with my nervous system. My nervous system is making a simple mistake. These sensations are not dangerous. This activity is not dangerous. I am doing this activity to help my nervous system. I'm going to teach my nervous system that I am safe doing this activity. Now, I'd like you to imagine taking your nervous system by the hand. You are not in this alone. I'm here with you, and there are countless others with your symptoms around the world right now who are doing this with you. We are all here together. Now I want you to take one more breath 
Exhale slowly. And I want you to start doing your activity. If you're about to go into a place that has brought on symptoms, I'd like you to walk to that door and go inside. If you're getting into a place, activity, or position that has scared you in the past, go ahead and get started. I'll be here with you the whole time, talking you through it. You can do this. Let's do this together. What you are doing right now is giving your nervous system a new message. When your brain learned this program, it learned that this activity was dangerous, and so it got stuck in protection mode. It thought there was a tiger chasing you, so it went into protection mode. But now it's just making a mistake. It thinks there is still a tiger chasing you, so it is still going into that mode automatically. Today, by doing this activity together in this way, we are showing your nervous system that there is no tiger. In the past, the more you were unable to do this activity, the more your brain learned that this faulty program was correct, that it needed to keep protecting you from doing this activity. Today, you are telling your brain that it doesn't need to protect you from this activity anymore. You are doing the activity with a new approach, one that shows your nervous system that you are safe. That is why you are here today doing this activity that you have been avoiding. You are taking your nervous system by the hand like a small, scared child. And you are moving while I'm with you, while you're with you, while you're remembering that as much as that child screams and yells that you're in terrible danger, you are actually safe and okay. Remember, it does not have to feel good It might feel downright scary right now to do this thing. It might feel very painful and go against all your instincts. That's okay. That's just your scared nervous system talking to you about its fears. Your nervous system is wired to yell when it thinks something is dangerous. Let it know you hear it and remind yourself why you're here doing this. You're doing this because your brain and body are healthy and well. Your nervous system is doing what it was designed to do. There is nothing wrong with your nervous system. Your nervous system is making a mistake. These sensations are not dangerous. This activity is not dangerous. You are here for yourself. Many others are listening to this recording right now and are doing the exact same thing. You are teaching your nervous system you are safe to do this activity. You can do this. You are safe. The activity is safe. Your nervous system is learning to turn off the false alarms. 
this activity is exactly the medicine you need to stop your symptoms. If you need to, you can even pause and put your hand back on where you feel the fear in your body. Let it know you're hearing it. It doesn't need to keep yelling. Let it know that you are doing this activity as an act of self-care and self-compassion. Changing your brain is hard work and does not always feel good. You can do hard things when they are important, and you are the most important person in your life. You deserve to feel better. You deserve to be able to do this activity without symptoms. You are working toward that right now. It's not easy, but you can do hard things. You're tough. You've been through worse than right now. You have a 100% track record on surviving times like these. You can do this. Remember, this is just the way your nervous system works. It is designed to hold on to patterns that it thinks are dangerous. It is just trying to protect you. In the past, you might have tried talking yourself out of being scared, but that doesn't work. Your nervous system doesn't speak words, but you can still communicate with it. That is exactly what you are doing right now. You are gently exposing yourself to the things it is afraid of while engaging different systems in your brain. By engaging the systems in your brain that are involved in care, compassion, and connection to yourself, by you being there for yourself and caring for yourself and knowing that you are not alone, Together, we are letting your nervous system know, in nervous system language, that it does not need to protect you anymore. Remember, your brain and body are healthy and well. These sensations are not dangerous. This activity is not dangerous. You are caring for yourself by doing this activity. You are not alone. You are among many others with the same symptoms who are doing this right now. You are teaching your nervous system you are safe doing this activity. You can do this. You are safe. The activity is safe. Your nervous system is learning to turn off the false alarms. This activity is exactly the medicine you need to stop your symptoms. Now, I just want to congratulate you for taking these steps. This is one of the most important things you need to do to recover from chronic dizziness or chronic pain. And you are doing it. And you are doing it with courage. Courage is not the absence of fear. It does not matter if you feel or felt scared. It does not matter if you had a hard time listening to my voice or if your fear felt overwhelming at times. You're doing it despite a false danger signal telling you to stop, and that takes courage. You should feel very proud of yourself. Most people wouldn't make it, but you're going to. Remember, 
what we're doing here together is letting your nervous system experience this activity in a new way with you being there for yourself and understanding why you're doing it. You're here doing this activity because it is truly safe. You are safe. There is nothing wrong with your body. And with this new way of experiencing this activity, your nervous system will learn it does not need to set off all the alarms anymore. Your brain and body are healthy and well. These sensations are not dangerous. You are caring for yourself by doing this activity. You are not alone. You are among many others with the same symptoms who are doing this right now. You are teaching your nervous system that you are safe. You can do this. Your nervous system is learning to turn off the false alarms. This activity is exactly the medicine you need to stop your symptoms. I am going to stop the recording for now, but you are welcome to repeat it as many times as you'd like while you are doing this activity. Thank you for trusting me to accompany you on this. It is an incredible privilege to have your trust and be able to participate in this process with you. You deserve to be able to do this activity without symptoms. And when you do this activity, every time you are changing the circuit that's causing symptoms. Until next time, see you soon. Take care.